again, we have another story for you about a parable that Yeshua gave us in the New Testament book of Luke. What is a parable, you may ask? And why did Yeshua speak in them? Well, parables are simply short stories that tell a lesson with a spiritual meaning on how we need to behave toward others and how to draw closer to our wonderful Heavenly Father. Yeshua spoke in parables so the mysteries of the kingdom of Yahweh might be revealed to the people that are really seeking Him with a pure heart. (laughs) Children, a certain man had two sons and one day his younger son said to him, My father, give to me the portion that is coming to me from your estate. So the man divided to them his possessions. And not many days after, gathering up all things, the younger son went away to a distant country, and there he wasted his property, living lavishly. But having spent all his things, a severe famine came throughout that country, and he began to be in need. And going, he was joined to one of the citizens of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed pigs. And he longed to fill his stomach from the hus which the pigs ate, but no one gave to him anything. How many servants of my father have plenty of bread, and I am perishing with famine. I will go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me as one of your hired servants. So, rising up, he came to his father. But he, at being far away, his father saw him and was moved with compassion. He ran and he fell on his neck and he kissed him ardently. I have sinned against heaven and before you and no longer am I worthy to be called your son. Slaves, bring out the best robe and clothe him and give a ring for his hand and sandals for his feet. Bring the fatted calf, slaughter, and let us eat and be merry. For this son of mine was dead and lives again, and was lost, yet he was found. Now in the meantime, the older son was in a field. He drew near to the house and heard the sound of many singing. He called one of the boys to find out what was going on. Boy, what is this I hear? Your brother came, and your father killed the fattened calf because he received him back in hell. But the older son was angry and did not want to go into the house. Then his father came out and begged him to come in. Father, I have served you for so many years, and I never transgressed your commandments. You never gave me a goat so that I may be merry with my friends. When this son of yours came, the one devouring your living with his pleasures, you killed the fattened calf for him. My son, you are with me at all times, and everything that is mine is yours. But to be merry and to rejoice was right, for this brother of yours was dead and lives again, and being lost also he was found. children, the younger son returned to his father asking for forgiveness for his foolish and sinful life. His father was so happy he returned and he gave him a feast to celebrate his return. This made the older son jealous and angry because he was always hard working and respectful and loyal to his father. His father explained to him 
that he should not be angry because he loves him just as much as his brother who was lost. But when somebody lost is found, we should all be joyful. If you're doing your best to keep all the Father's commandments and you see somebody else breaking them, you should never get angry because the Heavenly Father forgives them when they repent. He loves us so much that he does not want anyone to be lost. He will forgive anyone that tells their sins to him and does not do that sin anymore. So always try your best with a good attitude and treat others with love and kindness. Shalom, my friends. Yahweh bless.